are continuing our Best in Beauty 2021 series. Today we're going to tackle everything that goes on your cheeks. I got a whole lot of products here in front of me, so let's get going on that video. Hi friends. So today what I thought I would do since last time we did base makeup aside from foundation, I actually think I'm going to save foundations for the very last because I have so many that I want to just do a year end review of all the foundations I've tried. But today is all about cheeks. We're going to start off with contour then to bronzer, blush, highlight, that kind of thing. But we're also going to do different textures. So let me me not ramble on anymore. Let's just get into what I loved this year. Let's talk about cream contour. In keeping with the way that I want these videos to go, I have a high end and then a drugstore one. So the cream contour in Cheeks Out from Fenty Beauty in Amber. This is the one that I choose to use over and over again. I've already been through one of these. I love how this is not warm at all. It is just that very cool toned and it's very creamy it blends in very easily this is a very wonderful beautiful quality product and then the next one is from the drugstore which is kiko milano sculpting touch creamy stick contour and this one is in i think it's in chocolate and it is just a bit just a bit warmer than the one from Fenty, as you can see, and a bit darker. That is usually okay because when it blends out, it doesn't create a problem for me. And plus, it's really hard to find in drugstore just that cool tone or just that shadow that you want from your contour product. So cream ones there. And then we have powder. I actually, on the high end side, this one from Iconic London, it's a little bit of a cheat because it has not not only the powder in it, but it also has the cream in it. There's your cream product. I'll go ahead and I'll put this over here. And again, this is going to look a little bit more warm than what um, the Fenty one. The Fenty one just nailed that cool tone. And then this is the actual uh, powder product. They melt so good together. They're just the perfect pairing, these two products. This is a beautiful product that lasts a really long time on your cheeks. And then for drugstore, this is one that I reach for over and over again. This is the Essence Contouring Duo Palette. I actually have hit pan on this this year because I love it so much. This is what I reach for constantly in the summertime to do contour because it is a great color, yes, but it feels like a luxury powder and I just love it. And those are the ones that I use. You can see how much different the amber one is. So this is the ideal contour for me. And yes, Second Chance from Sephora is still one of my favorites, but I had to whittle it down and I definitely wanted to talk about this one from Essence because I think it gets overlooked. It's just such a buttery formula. It's every bit as buttery as the Iconic London. I really like them all for different reasons. All right, switching gears over to bronzer. So this is the cream bronzer, um, last was contour. So e.l.f. did a great job this year with their cream um, bronzers. I think they did just an outstanding job. These are just a tiny bit too warm for me, yes, but I can mix these two together, the deepest one, and I'll put up on the screen what they are. I can mix the deepest one with the lighter one and get a really nice bronzing color that isn't too orange for me, so that's why I like that. And then I do have a third one, which is super duper light. I this might even be the lightest one that they've made. Um, and it works pretty good for the bronzer too. But the formula is really soft. You can really buff that out and it'd be just a beautiful product for you to wear. One that I chose as a cream bronzer high end is from Uoma. I hope I say that right. Now this does have a highlighter on the other end, which I can swatch for you, but I really enjoy the actual, just this side of it. And that one, again, you can see how that has a lot of red in it. 
and I love that about it. And this one is called White Pearl, so it goes off of what the actual cream highlighter is, and the cream highlighter is nice. I just am in love with the actual bronzer. It's actually called a contour, but the bronzer, it works as a bronzer for me because it has that red undertone. It's so pretty. Now, for a bronzer from the drugstore that is powder, I have to go back to Coconut Beach from ColourPop. So again, it has that rosy undertone without having too much orange. You can see that there is a lot of warmth there. There. but for a bronzer that's okay it's when you get into a contour that you don't want any of that warmth and then for high-end bronzer I just could not make a choice because I had these two uh, come in very recently within the past couple months and I fell in love with both of them now the Tarte uh, Park Avenue Princess as you can see that is a very light uh, bronzer it's not going to be for everybody because it is a very, very light one, but it is so nice on fair to medium skin. I can't believe how beautiful that is. And you can build it up some. It actually just acts like a gorgeous powder. Somebody that was like medium tan skin tone, but you needed a cooler undertone, this would be a fantastic powder just for a setting powder. It's beautiful. And then the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten. This one has just, oh my gosh, this is so pretty as far as that rosy undertone to it and it just warms me up without ever making me look orange and I just I love all of those and then with highlighter I decided that I was going to put like more highlighting or more definitely high beam glow this one from Catrice this is the um let's see more than a highlighter and this one is in the rosy one this is definitely your high beam highlighter that is one that is just oh i love the texture of it the texture is beautiful and i wear mine underneath a blush and it's just absolutely gorgeous it has this very very soft effect to it and it's just one of those ones that yeah, Catrice knocked it out of the park with that. And then Ozone from Nabla in their skin glazing. This is one that I've had, but I fell in love with it this year even more because of the property of it. Just again, no glitter, just a gorgeous glow. Super glowy, super high beam, but wow. It, these two are just fabulous now i will say that i also got this one from fenty and i had a hard time deciding whether i was going to put the nabla or this fenty one this is one of the kilowatt ones and it is in lightning dust and fire crystal and both of these have just a tiny bit of a different texture to them i would say one is a lot more high beam and then the other one's just a little bit softer and i kind of really like that because you can choose whichever you want on different days. You know, if you want more of a, a shine on your face or if you want just a glow on your face, you can choose between the two. This is a really great product as well. And I love how soft and blendable. None of these show texture. Actually, none of these products show texture on me, which is a huge deal for me. As we talk about cream highlighter that's high end, I didn't have a cream, but I definitely have a liquid. And that is from Rare Beauty. And this is her liquid illuminator. This came about the same time that the sephora vib sale so i've had it for a few weeks and this is awesome this is absolutely beautiful you can tell immediately as i rub it in that that is one of the most beautiful oh my goodness look how high beam that is it doesn't have to be that way you could take this down here i just have what's on my finger and i'm rubbing that in and it can be really soft as well this one is beautiful because it just melts with all of the rest of your makeup and then once it dries down it's there it's not like tacky or anything and it's so pretty and i absolutely am in love with it the other one from the drugstore would always have to be my ColourPop super shock highlighters i absolutely love these i think that i have yeah, I have four, but I've shown you Flexitarian and I've shown you Smoke and Whistles so many times. I wanted to show you the other two that I have that I love so much. And you're this one, this is called Stole the Show. This is more icy and it's got like a little bit of a yellow cast to it. I shouldn't say yellow. It's just this pearly 
color to it and I don't have anywhere to put stuff. Okay, so I just want to put that right there and show you how pretty that is. Oh my word. It's just one of those ones that it just catches the light and it feels like it does this duochrome trichrome trichrome thing. And then this one is spellbound and spellbound has pink and lavender in it. No no glitter, no pinpoints of anything like that. But when you get it on your cheeks, it does have that uh, iridescence to it, that just in-between color. And I, oh my gosh, I love that one. Okay, liquid blushes. I will forever be in love with the Flower Bomb, but they came out with two new colors this year. This one is Cheeky, which I showed very recently. But this is such a beautiful color. What I love about these is they almost stain your cheeks when you're using it. And so that it is there for all day. This is one of my favorite colors that I've ever had. And this one is in Bubbly. And that one is kind of a true, like, lilac bubblegum pink. It's a very, very cool toned color. But the two of them are my favorites. I'm so glad they came out with Cheeky because the addition of the two that they had, the other one I think was quite apricot if I'm remembering correctly. So Cheeky is just so pretty and these blushes are fantastic. And then if I had to make a choice for liquid high end, again, it's from Rare Beauty and these liquid blushes are I think they're called pinched or something like that. Maybe that's just one of their names. You don't need the hair. That's extra. Oh, so, let me tell you what the colors are. This is that little trio that they had for um, the holidays. And I'm not going to swatch all of them because not all of them are permanent to her line. But one of them, which I believe is Bliss, is permanent to her line. And then this is the new one I got of the new colors, and that's called Encourage. Bliss is your basic nude pinky peach. It's so pretty. It's just a beautiful color. And then Encourage actually looks a lot like Cheeky. <laughs> These are the same thing. They stain the cheek and they are just beautiful. I love these as much as I love the ones from Flower Beauty. I think that both of them, they're gorgeous. Now, I will say that I do feel like at times the ones from Rare Beauty do last a little bit longer and they do have more of a shade range now that they just added their three or four new colors. So, Love those so much. And then for cream blush, you are never going to knock down off of its pedestal. My love for the Super Shock blushes. These are simply beautiful, simply amazing blushes. These, this is a bouncy, mousse-like formula that just you can build up, you can sheer out. It's more of a cream to powder formula. That one was called Prenup. This one is called Count Me In. They just have this amazing texture to them that as you're putting them on, they look so beautiful and so stunning. And this one right here, which is birthday suit, I believe that this one might have just a tiny bit more of a sheen to it. If you're having a hard time with these and or any cream products for that matter, putting them on your cheeks, I will link below a brush that I talk about all the time and use all the time. The last one is called Between the Sheets. But that brush is just ideal for using them on these cream products. I don't care what cream product you use. You can put it down with that brush and it's going to look absolutely stunning on your cheeks. So there are my four colors for the Super Shock Shadows. And then this was the year that I discovered Fenty Cream Blushes. So in love with these. This one is called Petal Poppin'. Now, I do think I got Petal Poppin' at the end of last year. You can see how much more pigmented they are than this. The formula is different in that this is more of a mousse-like formula. This is more of a very cream-like formula. And then I got Cool Berry, which is a beautiful berry tone. Very, um, very deep kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's definitely a cool berry tone. It's very pretty. And then I got Summertime Wine. This is the newest one to me, but this one is every bit as beautiful. A little bit more stark, a little bit more pink, but love that one. And then I got this one, which is Mama Class, and it is purple. But you know what? This is one of the prettiest colors on people's cheeks. I've seen every tone wear that color, and it is 
stunning. And I really can't begin to tell you how much I love this color. And I know that you're looking at it going, that is something I would never do. Let me just demonstrate that on my cheeks. And I'm just going to take some of this on a brush. It's kind of just a fluffy whatever brush when I had just put to the side. And then I'm going to show you what this does. This does not look purple. It's going to make my cheeks almost come to life. Purple is a very brightening tone for anyone to wear. And if you wanted to layer this on top of your own blush or whatever you wanted to do, it just ends up being just something that brightens and gets kind of glowy because it's a cream blush. It's gorgeous. And I encourage everyone that has been thinking about, you know, looking into lavender tones or purple tones in their makeup, do it. Be you can wear these purples. They're that beautiful. They truly are gorgeous. Lastly, my pick for powder blush is one that came really early in the year. It was about the time that KVD Beauty went to Ulta and I found this one. This is the most beautiful mauve rosy blush I think I've ever seen. So this is an Everlast called Everlasting Blush and this is in Rosebud. Look at that. Oh my word, look at that. It's just the most beautiful mauve color of of blush. I adore this color and I love this formula. Super duper silky and it is one that almost feels like it has a primer in it because it's on all day when I put it on and I love it. Now the counterpart to that is that I got these blushes from Moira and I had heard about these at the beginning of the year from Allie Glines and they have this incredible incredibly beautiful design on them and they are gorgeous. That is really, really, really gorgeous. You could stay down here in the muted part if you wanted to. Like it's, it's almost like they have one, two, three, maybe four to five colors in these. They're so pretty. And then this one is a brighter pink that I got. And I am just swirling across to get the color that comes together. But you could just stick up here if you wanted the super light color. I always run out of places. Or you could go down here if you wanted and I'm running out of fingers too. You could go down here if you wanted the really stark color. It just depends on what you really want. And I think these blushes are such good quality. They feel luxe. They feel silky. They're gorgeous. And they feel a lot like the KVD, but I did fall in love with them this year. And I sure hope Moira gets picked up by somebody that can put it into a store because you can only order these on their website online but they're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. So that is it for the roundup of the cheek products. Yes, these videos are going to be long, but I found so many things that are just absolutely gorgeous. That's why I'm breaking them apart for you all. And you can see it like this. I hope that you did enjoy it. Let me know if there's any product in any of these categories that you have fallen head over the heels in love with. I'd love to know that from you. Thank you so much for being with me. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. I adore you guys so much. Please take care of yourselves. Love you, and I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.